CEO 2019 raising its head again. These are good times for students. In the year 2000, we had 200 level 8 courses. Now, 2019, we have 1100 plus. So there's lots of options out there. Also, a lot of the colleges are moving from very specific to more general courses. So points are, in general, they tend to be a little bit lower, which is good. However, in 2019, we do have about 3% extra applicants applying to CAO this year. So that may affect points slightly. But on the other hand, we have more apprenticeships, etc. So it is demand and supply, so we keep an eye on it. Today I'm going to talk about six areas, six points that maybe people should look out for. Number one, the deadline. The deadline is in a few days time, the 20th of January. It is 30 euro if you apply online. It's 45 euro by the 1st of February and if you wait until the 1st of May it's 60. So don't waste your money, apply now. Very interesting to note if you apply online, um, you don't have to actually fill in your choices. Um, so I think it's useful too because it gets the thinking process going but it's more important that you actually fill it in, pay your money and get your CEO identification number. Number two would be check your personal details. It's very short. Things like addresses uh, people usually get right but their date of birth, a lot of people get that wrong. So just take a few seconds there. Um, very important to note if you're a here or a dear applicant you must have applied online with your information by the 1st of March and your documentation has to be sent in by the 1st of April. Just keep an eye on that. Third point would be to check entry requirements and restrictions. This is really important. Entry requirements, every single course in every college has different entry requirements. You will get them on the college brochures. For example, if you're doing engineering level 8 in any university or college in Ireland, you have to have a H4 in higher level maths. Um, this year, um, UCD Commerce would require a H6 or a Note 2 in higher level maths, just watch that. And if you're going to do science in Trinity, for example, you need a H4 or a No 4 in maths. So just check the college websites. Um, certain courses have a little asterisk after them. These are restricted courses. These are courses that have something else besides points. So they could be, for example, a space relations test, a music, a portfolio for art and design, a HPAC for medicine. These courses have to be down by the 1st of February. If you're unsure, put them down. At least it gives you a few weeks of choice. Um, I would say the fourth point of interest is probably the most important I'm going to talk about today. This would be your order of preference. When you're filling up the CEO, there is one rule. We have a mantra here in the Institute of Education. It is put the courses down in order of preferences. What I want first, what I want second, what I want third. Putting something with low points somewhere. I think this is the secret. We always assume or say to students, just assume you're going to get 600 or 625. It's a preference, it's what you want. Maybe a useful thing might be if you have 10 CEO choices, your first four might be your dream courses, your next three might be your realistic, but have two banker courses at the very end and you won't go wrong. Number five, very briefly, would be check your personal statement. Every student gets a personal statement sometime in the month of May. It will take you five minutes, just check all the details, the here, the dear, if you're one of these students, just check these, it will save you such hassle when it comes to August. Number six would be research, research, research. I cannot emphasize this enough. Sometimes students would say, I don't know what I want. I would say, look at the wonderful websites. Careers Portal and Qualifax are just superb. On these, you can actually do an interest inventory now. You can find out what you're interested in, and that's a really good first step. If you take Careers Portal, there are 300 career videos and course videos. You can sit there about three to four minutes long and even in these, if you go into say commerce or business, each college would have their own little separate video and the best research can be got for these. Um, I would say perhaps to parents out there at the moment, it might be your first time you have a son or daughter doing the Leaving Cert. Um, the CAO website itself is actually very good. It really is. It, um, just there's a video on it on how to actually apply to the CEO. So that's really good. 
So the best of luck to the class of 2019. Research, research, research.